You have to really fight that one out quick. Um, third quarter, you looked a bit, a bit of trouble. They got right on top in all cases, really. Um, you just willed yourself over the, over the line in that fourth turn. How'd you, how'd you do it? Oh, pretty much the way okay. you described yeah. it was the way the game unfolded. But this group do believe, and we were under a whole heap of stress. Probably from quarter time onwards, I thought, I thought that first quarter was excellent. And they were able to get a goal in quarter time. In the second, third quarter, they probably had definitely more more looks offensively. The back line had inconsistent periods. They saved some goals and they probably let a couple of balls out of the back, which hurt. But there was a pretty significant breeze in the end, which was going to the left. So I thought we were able to make some big plays to create a turnover and start winning a bit more loose ball in the last quarter, which gave us a fair few looks. I'm not sure we could 2-5 or something in the last yeah, quarter, but we had some chances. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you, you thought that breeze was pretty significant, particularly in that second half? Yeah, like I thought whole game, probably through the game. Like, yeah. Both teams felt they could probably score both ways, but when being out there three quarter time, it felt like it was definitely going to We were going just completely opposite of the reserves game earlier in the day. But big plays, you know, late. I thought Boyd had some big plays late. Um, Sam Morris, yeah, Cameron Ball had some big plays late. Uh, Loudon's goal was a big play. And McLean had a quiet day, which was a tough day for Ball. It has a good moment. So uh, sometimes we don't have the game with exactly the way you want. You can find a way to get over the line. That's some of the most precious wins that you have over the course of the season. Obviously, McLean was the go-ahead goal. Um, it was a big um, sort of 50-50 ball um, on the sort of half-forward line. The tramper bombs it in. Um, McLean with a snap and finish. Uh, you must be pretty excited when that happened. Yeah, well, I thought Tramper was going to play. He had some really good moments. He looked like it and the ball was in his area. And uh, there's a lot of playing and kicks today with the breeze. And that ball probably should have hit McLean on the lead. But he's a class player and he found a way to score for us at an important time. So... We did play the game for our end for the last 10 or 12 minutes and we've got enough opportunities in the end. And I thought your defence held up well as well. You've got guys like Cam Ball and James Bird and Jack Hurst. Your brother used to play in James Hurst. Yeah, he did. Um, yeah, he used to tell him up. Um, yeah. uh, Jack Hurst. So the defence has been pretty strong through most of the season and particularly held up well today. Yeah, they did. Like I said, I thought they were inconsistent. There were some times where I thought we just let them in and a couple of times we should have been able to kill the ball or bring it forward. But... Bird's had a great year for us. Ball's had a really good month. Uh, Morris is really improving. Uh, Donnelly had a good game today. Uh, Seymour's made a difference down there. Jack Kelly's been really solid for us. And Dick Hamilton. So that area, sometimes you do rely on your back line. And any good team will have games where they rely on them. And I thought that's what we have to do today. And uh, Matty Panos didn't play in the second half. What was the diagnosis of something at the minute? We don't have one, but there's definitely been some lingering soreness over the last three to four weeks, which has been a couple of ducked up, red in the thigh sort of areas. So, um, don't know exactly yet, but it was too risky to be in the field. And you got the Crows next week, obviously. That's going to be you guys have won five in a row there, top of the table at the moment. Uh, one to savour, I guess. We'll yeah, well, we've had a big month when we had Port away, then we had the Eagles away, and uh, we've had Sturt when they were going well, but North Adelaide, we had South, who I think South been going very well the last four or five weeks, and, and we've got Adelaide, but that's where this competition's at. But, yeah, you need to be on to be able to get results in this comp and it's pretty tight up the top and yeah, I think we were able to get ourselves in contention with those teams up there at the top of the morning. No worries. Great, Great. Thank Thank you. Good chat. Thanks, Lee.